Into match number 16 now, it's Colombia versus Japan. So Colombia will look like this. Ospina in goal, Sanchez, Arias, Zapata, Armero, Torres, Cardoza, Rodriguez, Sanchez, Falcao and Boca up front. To Japan they will look like this. Kashi Kawashima in goal, Makino, Saki, Nagatomo, Rashinda, Kono, Kiyote, Kagawa, Honda, Okasaki and Osako up front. So match number 15 will begin. Colombia versus Japan. Colombia in uh, red and blue. Japan in all blue tops, white pants. And it's an early throw in for Colombia. Now Colombia are a, one of those sides you just don't know what's going to show up. They could upset the big boys um, or they could be complete and utter flops. They've got a quality player in Rodriguez in the middle of the park. And also a guy who knows how to find the back of the net up front, Falcao, who uh, is back at Monaco now scoring for fun. He had a little stint in the Premier League with Chelsea and Manchester United, but never really never really uh, found his feet. As for Japan, hard-working side, you never know. You just never know with this group, actually. When you look at the group... Uh, I think my first indication is Poland. I think they're gonna they're gonna top it. For second, I would go with Colombia, just because of pedigree. You know, they've, it's not their first major tournament. A lot of the boys are still there from the last time, and they've got some youthful players. As Colombia's first real effort, that was goal bound. It just you know a bit of wind pushed it pushed it by. Um, but yeah, uh, they're they're a decent side, and they should qualify from this group. But you never know. Senegal, Japan, they're all... It's, it's, it's another tough group. Another tough group. Anyway, so this game will take place in the real world on the 19th of June at the Mordovia Arena, which is in Saranesk. Now, I'm not sure of my Russian geography or whereabouts that is in the country of Russia, but that's where this game will take place. And, uh, in fact, over the years, Colombia and Japan have met three times before, so this will be the fourth time in, in every possible competition, or even friendly, that they've met. And Colombia have yet to lose against Japan. In fact, last time that they met was actually in the last World Cup, 2014. Colombia 4-1 winners in, the, in that one. Both. Japan and Colombia were in Group C in 2014 World Cup. Colombia topped that group, winning all three of the games. Japan finishing bottom, only picking a point, and that was in a nil-nil draw with second place Greece out of that group. So uh, the last, so that was the last time they met. Uh, the first time they met was way back in 2003. It was in the Confederations Cup. Uh, Colombia winning one nil, but. This is a simulation version. Is things going to be different? Uh, is the is Japan going to upset the odds? Well, they're actually causing a little bit of rumblings here. As they have a free kick for now for Colombia. To get themselves back in this. Well, there's, well, there's not really to get back this. But get on top. To get on top. So if you are new to this channel, we are simulating each and every one of the World Cup games. Starting with the groups. We will do the knockouts as we get to the knockouts. Uh, I don't want to do them. I could do them, I suppose, uh, to see actually who wins the World Cup. But we'll see how it pans out. But anyway, Japan looking for an opening goal, as are Colombia. This is the first match of Group uh, H. And that shot parried. If somebody was there to finish off, um, it would have been the first goal of this group. But also in this group, as I mentioned, Poland and Senegal, they meet next uh, in, uh, in, the, in this group. Um, as for the next games, Colombia will take on Poland and Japan will take on Senegal. So we have a throw in here for Colombia as we crawl towards the end of the first half. We only play two four minute halves. Maybe a little bit of what the referee allows. Japan trying to chip their way through. Maybe, just maybe we'll have a shot on target. Here we go, a bit of space. This shot is blocked though, and Colombia maybe can build themselves. If he fires a pass forwards, he might catch some a bit of space, but 
Good defending all around, both sides, nil nil. So the second half gets us underway and it we Columbia kicking off. No goals thus far. Columbia though building nicely, got a bit of space, turns and shoots, have another go. Again, Japan break it up and they build themselves and that pass was woeful. Could not find his uh his, his compatriot and now another good strike by Colombia, but it goes straight to the arms of the keeper. Who boots it out pretty timidly, only to well it, it does reach the halfway mark, but barely. Colombia though looking more more dangerous than I'd say Japan. Poor control though. Gives it away. Now Japan maybe can 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 find something. Picks a picks a pass. Who gets the better of it? Or Japan making hard work of it. Colombia though. Right down the middle. Lovely pass. Good control. Nicely set up. Poor final touch there to, to get to his compatriot. And now Japan from the back. Have to go again. But passing is horrendous. No one can get control of this game. It's eventually worked out. Now, can we get a shot in? He's got space. Crosses in there. Not not good enough. At this rate, nobody deserves to win this game. Slip forward. Come on. Someone have a good shot. It works its way out back to the Colombian defence. Now, last time out in the 2014 World Cup, like I said, these two teams were in the same group. But Colombia came out on top and they went all the way to the quarterfinals, eventually losing to Brazil 2-1. I was actually rooting for Colombia. Then I, I, I like to see, well, on the flip side, I like to see some classical, real heavyweight um, uh, semi-finals and finals between some of the bigger nations. But I also like to see the underdogs come through. And there was some underdog mentality going around as... Japan finally get a shot on target. But yeah, uh, Costa Rica um, were the surprise package of the last World Cup. Taking uh, the Dutch all the way to penalties. That's actually the second penalty shootout in a row as Colombia take the lead finally as this game was petering out to a 0 nil draw. So Colombia have their noses in front. It looks like it's Falcao who got the goal. I don't know why it looks like it, but it is. Falcao has the opening goal for Colombia and the opening goal for Group G or H. What are we in, Group H? Golly. So, Colombia have the noses in front. Uh, going back to the 2014 World Cup, uh, Costa Rica, the, the, the surprise package, uh, when they knocked out Greece, but only just losing to the Dutch in uh, on penalties um but i do like a, a good underdog story columbia fall in the in the brackets I'm not kind of like england columbia like england they could beat you beat the big boys but they could also lose against some woeful team um so the 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 semis of the 2014 world cup were pretty sweet when you think about it and uh you know of, of heavyweights, so Germany, Brazil, semi, and a Dutch, Argentina, semi. That's pretty. That, that's up there with you know the best of the bunch. As Colombia look for a second to really wrap up the points, so this will be a, a good start for Colombia in 2018 if they can hold on. Japan still might squeeze something as he, if he can get onto this. Turns and shoots. Uh, who's that? Ospina, Ospina down and saves for Colombia. Calm head between the sticks, that's what you need. But Japan, go again. If they can land this, which they can't, it's dealt with. Here come Colombia. Into midfield now. Go again, time added on. How long left? Japan, running out of time, and there it is. Colombia won, Japan nil. And just to recap some of the statistics, three shots for Colombia, just the one for Japan. And one of the shots that went in was Falcao on six minutes, 30 seconds. As for players in the book, nobody. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table.
Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.